going to be able to be online i, I totally I'm, I'm... messed everything up okay, okay we're on it's live i i messed that whole thing up i didn't even do the rob <laughs> tui thing i don't know now i got my tvs on screaming at me i wasn't ready i wasn't ready it's the end of the year i wasn't ready what's up everybody uh let's see that's lower left that's lay rune upper right that's furied fate upper left is lady shell she doesn't have a camera and lower right is me rob tui what's up everybody uh happy new hey. year welcome to the uh all things fantasy grounds talk show West Coast United States Countdown. We're going to be doing our show for the next hour and then plus whatever we decide. Um, it is it is it is already New Year's Day in 35 out of the 38 Earth time zones. Uh, you would I looked this up the other day. There's 38 time zones. I I would have thought it would have been 24. No, it's 38 because there's all kinds of weird 30-minute, 15, 45-minute <laughs> Eastern Polynesia, Western Samoa, all this kind of – India's one big time zone with a half hour. I don't know what, how it works. Anyway, uh, what's up, everybody? How are you guys? I am good. I invited Oceana here. Yeah, good. We hope to have some Oceana people. Yeah, I think Marina was in the chat. Yep. And, uh, They're yeah, already old, there. Old Grumpy Gamer is. It's already 5 p.m. where he is. Yeah. So yeah, wow, what's up, offering. everybody? Glad you're here. This is gonna be. Uh, this is gonna be the last year of the decade. It is not the end of the decade, like like you will hear most people say, because decades go from one to ten, not from zero to nine. So 2019 <laughs> is not closing out the decade. We got one more year. Also, when you go to the movie theater and you see the movie previews and they say next summer, they don't mean next summer. They mean this summer because next summer is 2021. This summer is 2020. And if you think the previous <laughs> hot months a few months ago was this summer, no, no, that was last summer. So let's get it straight, people. Let's make a New Year's resolution to get <laughs> shit fucking right. Let's do it. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who gets it. <laughs> What's up, Alex? <laughs> uh, good to see some people here that uh, aren't usually here, so that's good. Probably because of the time. We aren't yeah. usually able to meet most people's Sunday night at 6 o'clock Pacific time. So we are going to be giving away some prizes. Um, we are going to be talking about Fantasy Grounds. Try to keep it real. Now, Lady Show, before the show, you mentioned that you wanted to ask the audience a question. Let's do that. Let's do it right away. I was uh, planning on asking the four of us the question, and that is, mm. what are you looking forward to in 2020? Or I know it's 2020 for most of you, but for us, it's not 2020 yet. Um, in Fantasy Grounds and not including Unity, what are you most looking forward to? The The audience can... Yeah, I miss I misunderstood that. I wasn't prepared. I thought you were going to ask people to type it in the chat. I didn't know it was going to be for you, for us, and I didn't have an answer. Uh, so let me think about that. Maybe somebody, maybe one of you other guys has a good answer. Okay. But you said we can't say uh, Unity. I mean, because uh -huh. Dynamic well, Fighting is what I'm looking forward to. That's an obvious, right, that everybody's uh -huh. looking forward to that, so... <laughs> only oh, Mary Mayhem, only Unity. That's what that's what he said. <laughs> um, do you guys have anything coming to the top of your head? I have I have something that's um, that's related but not quite related, and that's like I'm looking forward to move so that I can have good internet so that you can see my face Yay. instead of my stupid port. Right. Because you live right now, you live in an area that has internet that is um, held together by speaker wire with a 300 baud phone modem that you plug in like that. That's what you have right now. Sometimes it feels like <laughs> that's even better than what I've got now. Mm -hmm. Actually, move into the same city, but I'm just gonna get cable instead of my lousy AT and T. Yes, AT and T, I'm coming for you. <laughs> yeah, I have Xfinity cable, but my phone is AT and T. Uh oh, you know what they don't. Oh yeah, you can see right there. I don't know if you can see it. AT and T in the upper. Can you even read that? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> but I used to work for AT and T. I worked for Singular, as a matter of fact. I worked for the cell phone company so long ago it was called Singular. Then they changed to AT and T. 
Uh, Merriman says, I'm I'm already planning for Rob's insanely huge package 2020. <laughs> People can't stop talking about my package. Well, it would be your confirmed critical package. It, I mean, that's right. It's oh, yeah. the confirmed critical <laughs> package. Uh, it's, it's always better when a woman says it. Sylvester's answer, <laughs> I'm looking forward to playing more and making more conversions for FG so I can make money. Yeah, there you go. Rob's package gets bigger every year. Thanks, Darth <laughs> Vex. Hey, so some of the stuff we're going to give away on the show tonight, um, a Fantasy Grounds package. license, a standard, uh, also an ultimate, and yeah, I guess since you said it, Fury, I'll give away an insanity package. Not even available anymore. Wow. And uh, I'll give away one of those. I gave away one of those in FGC earlier today. It was an Speaking FGC of that, exclusive. Yeah, go ahead. Um, Yeah, so welcome back, Rob. Thank uh, you. Right on the cusp of the new year. I'm hoping to start this off on a positive note. Uh, Rob was on a four-month hiatus, but you know he's back, and we are going to be celebrating that. And Rob came in with a bang today and gave out his big package. So <laughs> gave out there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Prize Gate is over, and I'm back. To, I'm back at FGC. Uh, even though I was gone, I still was promoting it. I always would say do that in the chat like that. FGC. Um, if there yep. is anybody look listening to the show right now that doesn't know what FGC is, first of all, how dare you? Uh, secondly, yeah, you go to that link right there and Fantasy Grounds College now with, I believe, over 5,700 members. Yep. Uh, all volunteers who have – there's classes. There's uh, uh, things you can learn for all the different rule sets and how to DM, how to put – how to do – there's map seminars. There's – um, how to make characters. I mean, just anything you need for Fantasy Grounds. And then when I'm hanging around, there's usually some prizes every few days. So there you go. It I pays looked, to hang out. I just looked it up and it said, well, not counting the robots, because I believe we have, uh, what, 11 robots, something like that? It said yeah. 57 dollars So oh, we're so almost it's going to hit 5800 Wow, cool. Yeah, so yeah, Alex, I feel yeah, I hope you I hope you'll have a a chance to enter tonight. So make sure you do when we run that. You may give it away to one person. So we're going to give away Insanity Bundle, not available. Um that's 168 titles. And we'll give away an ultimate license, we'll give away a standard license, and perhaps more straggling prizes as we go through the night. Uh, we shall see. <laughs> yeah, Matt Akiri's videos are very good on YouTube, the uh, Fantasy Grounds College classes. Um, and Grumpy Old Gamer, yep, please enter the drawing when I do it. You'll have a chance to win it. Um, for those of you that might not know, I, I can't imagine there's people that don't know, but let me... Wait, well, how come that didn't go over there like I wanted it to? Post Lost your voice for a sec. Change me? You're losing focus. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I hope that doesn't happen. Let me go to DM's Guild. And... Uh, I will show everybody this package. Just a glimpse of it. That's not even available that someone's going to win tonight. Let's see. How do I do it? I got to go to... Promotional tools. I, I don't know if you guys, you guys probably can't hear that on my headset, but there's people blowing fireworks off outside. They've been doing it for four hours. Jeez. Yeah, stupid idiots. You would think it was 4th of July, you know? Right. They start doing that at 7 at night, too. But then that they usually stop around 10 or 11, but this is going to go way past midnight. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, duh. Here's what I need to do. Fantasy Grounds Insanity Rob Tui. That takes me to the Fantasy Grounds forums post where I can click on this link, which won't work. But as the creator, I can view it because it's it's not active. It's still there. It's just you can't buy it. 
Uh, some people have asked me, why don't I just leave it on all the time? And I was like, no, no, because everything's 75% off. And if we just did that every day, then all the authors would get pissed off and go out of business. But anyway, here's here's everything. So somebody tonight will win all these titles. Uh, and there's 168 of them. And it's basically everything I've done by myself or as a collaboration uh, from... January 29th, 2016 through December 25th, uh, 2019. So basically four years of stuff. And it's $1,580 would be what it would cost if you bought everything just for the regular price. And we had about, I think, 23 people bought the package during the sale and their price was $395 or less because if you own stuff, it, it, it takes it out, right? So um, I've decided that, you know, I kind of want to do it once a year, but I might do it. There might be, you know, I might do it on 4th of July or I might do it on, you know, Mother's Day or something. I, I haven't really decided, but I might run 24-hour uh, insanity sales, but we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. Um, actually, not not one author emailed me and said, hey, man, what are you doing? That's crazy. Don't sell it for so low. Most of the people that did email me said, hey, I saw a bump in sales. Thanks for that or whatever. So that was good. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Fury answered her. I mean, uh, Lady Shell answered her own question. What about you, Leroon? What are you looking forward to with regards to Fantasy Grounds in 2020? Um, other than fantasy grounds unity i'm looking for more positive growth um partnerships with uh some good people uh some more teachers would be part of the positive um also um that everyone stays healthy and that my family stays together and we, we do good together and that my uh job situation increases and gets better and uh also i'd like all of you to be able to play some more games we're training as many dms as possible so I know I've trained a couple hundred <laughs> since I started this thing. So, um, yeah, so that's my wishes for the new year 2020. Do so. Do, do, do so, do so. Yeah, Celestian's asking, did we see the Kickstarter for the Bluetooth dice? I did see that. Um, we can actually show that um, right now on screen. The it, it It's a cool idea, but I, I don't know that I would... I don't know that I would do it. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, incredibly smart connected dice. So we can... Game night. Dances are... Every die knows so when it's being selected, dice. shaken, when it rolls, and when and it finally stops, what number connects. appears on it. So I mean, even right there you get the idea, and it connects to the app, and you can play all these different wow. games. But they do have... They do have 20-sided... Uh, ones but i i was looking at it and i was like eh, yeah it's a cool idea but and the 20 sided die basically has a six sided die in it and then it it calculates it and, and you know it's got you know but anyway if anybody wants to look at that i'll put the link in the chat um but it wasn't something i was really interested in it is a cool idea but i think if that's going to be a thing i think i'd probably you know usually when you do a kickstarter you get a really great deal and you save money or whatever but i'd rather wait till that has a, a year or two in and see if it's anything and you know i don't know but anyway it is cool um what about you fury what are you looking forward to next year fully fleshed out like um you know the rules working the buttons working character sheets working instead of it all just being like more core <laughs> yeah, we missed the first part of what you're saying. Were you talking about Unity? Like, for more, I guess, licensing to go through? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. for some reason, when you start to talk, the first five seconds or so is cut off. We can see you talking, but no sound. So I don't know what the hell. Hmm. It's just Discord hating me. It's Discord hating uh. on you? Uh... So Celestian did the hundred dollar backing for that dice thing. So he's get one six sided for that. 
Uh, say that again. I was wondering if he gets one six sided. I didn't look at the details. Oh, uh, I don't. No, no, you get oh, well. like you get a bunch of them, I think. But and then you can order the kit for the twenty sided or whatever. But yeah, like Alex is saying, that would be cool if it if it did it in Fantasy Grounds. But they're they're gonna have to. They're gonna have to. Uh, Wait a minute, wait a minute. Actually, I forgot about the Kickstarter for the heads-up display that should work with Fantasy Grounds. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Celestian is pretty good at nagging Smite Works to get shit done. Do it, fuckers. He just says, he just says it every day <laughs> for two years. And That's then how we it. got the 2E package, Yeah, he, right? he was the one that, that got the, the 2E, the 1E, and the basic rule set done because he just bugged the shit out of them. And then finally they huh. they asked Watsy and they he he basically was the force behind that. Uh, so let's see. So me, I I think you know I I didn't really think about it. I I always think about my health and just can I get through another year. And my joke was when I woke up from my liver surgery five years ago. My joke was I need to stay alive to see the end of the Star Wars movies. Well, guess what? I need a new thing now because. That's over. <laughs> I saw I saw the movie three times already. I liked it. Um, but in terms of gaming and fantasy grounds, I'm just looking forward to getting my new, more manageable gaming table at the house, so I can have uh, you know, Svenster and whoever of these other guys are that come over and game. I, there's a couple. You're of getting a small square, right? No, I got a. I'm getting a round, a 48 inch round uh table with cup holders in it um here i can we can look at the uh show us. i can show us that too uh, you know see. what you could um hang around for the netflix sandman series to to show the netflix sandman series uh-huh you know and sandman coming to netflix i'm excited for that no i don't even know they're gonna that. be what I don't. I don't even know what you're talking about. My feelings are hurt. I don't even <laughs> want to talk to you right now. I'm leaving. Uh, let's see. Var stool folder. I can't remember. Uh-huh. It's funny. I ordered this and I can't even remember the friggin' website where <laughs> I how I got it. Did I even did I bookmark that maybe? Uh. Oh wait. Is it in my orders emails? Let's check that. Orders. Yes, here it is right here. Do your order. What? Bitch ass website. Bitch ass. Let's try that again. Here it is. Let's try this. Um What? Why is this not doing this? Bar shot watch it went out of business and I'm out money. Okay, no, they're wow. there. Okay. <laughs> no, no, they're there, they're there. Um forty eight inch round. Offer good through eleven fifty nine. Yeah, so here it is. Oh December my God, it's thirty one. It's seven hundred and eighteen bucks now. Oh no, that's not the one I bought. I, I mine was three hundred or something. But anyway, it's sort of that's that's not the one. Is it that podium looking thing? No, it's not. It doesn't look like that. Man, how come I can't? Okay, hold on. Why doesn't that is not acceptable that my order doesn't come up? Maybe it just didn't like the. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I I got mine for it was four hundred bucks and I saved twenty bucks. But doesn't it have a picture of it? On the top left there. No, there's no picture. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So there is a picture of it here, but it's a little small picture. You can't see it. Oh, you can't click on it. So here, I this is what I'll do. I will. Google it and just look for the image. But I ordered it and then they said, oh, it's going to be. Here we go. This is what it looks like right here. So that'll be sweet because it's got, you know, room for your legs and chairs. And then there's one, two, three, there's six cup holders in it. And that that size is four feet across. So it's pretty big. Now, that other table I had was five by seven and it was just unruly and I just had to get rid of it. But anyway, that's what's happening. Okay, back to us because we're exciting. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting that and continuing my 
board gaming efforts outside of Fantasy Grounds. I really love Fantasy Grounds, and I use it like five days a week. But it's nice to do something else so that I don't get burnt out or, uh, you know, that kind yep. of a thing. But yeah, Unity is going to be sweet. So what are some memorable events, Lady Shell, from this past year for um, you? Our um, Founders Day weekend was really fun. But yeah, that was successful. Before, I liked before it. I go back, can I go forward and announce that we, um, for those of you that don't know, we are running a contest to help FGC decide which topic to stream. And um, if someone can post the link that I put in our Discord chat thing yep, there. Yeah, I, I got it. I can't be online and be in Discord at the same time. My internet won't let me, so I can't go on the thing. Either that or everybody gets robot-y. Anyway, we are uh, asking for people's opinion. There are various ways to um, enter, and you can find out if you go to that link that I put in there. And there are options are all about tables, custom items, or and using the forge, story building, encounters and NPCs, and managing maps and images. And you just choose which one you you would like to see us stream, and we will pick a winner on Sunday the fifth, and that person will win an ultimate license. Wow! Excellent. All right, let's give away a prize. Let's give away the standard license. Courtesy of FGC, I will use my handy dandy raffle standard thing. Standard license. So this is the standard license. Um, normally we talk, we give a big speech about how prizes are not transferable. So we lost focus from. Oh again. shit. Okay, fine. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? For us, I think the stream hears him still. You guys can't hear me at all. That's fine. Can you guys hear? Hmm. No, I can hear you. Okay. <laughs> now we yeah. hear you. I don't know what causes that. Anyway, what I was saying was normally, can you guys hear me now? Yep. Okay. Normally yeah, we give a, bi a big speech about how you can't transfer prizes. If you win something, that's yours. No, no accounting. No making me work extra. No, no signing up to win a prize and then and then winning the prize and then PMing me five minutes later going, hey, thanks for that, but I really decided I want to give it to this person. No, none of that. We don't allow that. But in the case of winning a license, you can do that. So when we give away the standard and the ultimate licenses tonight, if you win, you can give that to another person because it's really easy to do. To give it to the person who wins, you have to put your Fantasy Grounds, Grounds forum name in there. And it's just as easy to put another name in there. So if you if you win this prize, you can give it to somebody else. Now, the reason I went through all that is to let everybody know that if you already have a license, you can still enter it. But please don't enter if you unless you have a person in mind to give it to. So if you have a friend or a family member. But if you're just entering it to win it and you already have it, don't do that. Just let somebody else win. Uh, so here we go. We're going to give away a standard license. And the keyword is going to be... Standard. So enter exclamation standard into the chat, S T N D A R D, and you will be signed up to win. And I'll keep that here on the screen so people can see the list building. And I'll go over to our little two minutes camera driver. Two minutes. Um, and it looks like maybe since only a couple people so far are entering, maybe it's people who either don't have it or know somebody specifically who wants to get it and we will be giving away an ultimate uh as well wow ultimate license standard and some stuff that's awesome a fifteen hundred dollar package a hundred and fifty dollar license a forty dollar license and who knows maybe more so I put another link in our chat here. If you can put that Unity price upgrades, the people that get their license, so they know what they can do with their classic license to upgrade to you. I already put that in. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, yeah, let me Thanks. just post that as well. Okay, cool. Cool. Uh, if you, in the chat, if you have 
a New Year's resolution, type it in the chat. Tell us what you guys are thinking about for next year. So I uh, read a joke. A friend of mine, one of my comedian buddies from L.A., he typed, I'm going to the gym to start my New Year's resolution for 2019. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. That is funny. Uh, Darth Vex, 4K to to get a 4K TV, you mean? Or 4K monitor? What do you mean? Play more games. That's a good one, Grumpy Old Gamer. Yeah. All right. I'm going to pick the winner. Only four people entered, so you guys all have a 25% chance of winning. And the winner of the standard license is... Bam! Uh, Marianova. Congrats. All right. Marianova. So, um, you should. Let's get hold of me, I guess. PM, PM uh, Le Rune about that. And Marianova, type in the chat that you acknowledge you know how to get a hold of Le Rune. And if not, we'll help you. But uh, just type in the Twitch chat that you know. Is just say, yes, I do. Or, or I can do it. Or, or. You to man, or type any fucking thing, so I know you're there, <laughs> that, that you acknowledge the prize. Okay, okay, so Marinova knows yeah, what yeah. to do. And I'm, I'm saying that wrong. It's Marinova. I'm saying Marinova. That is absolutely wrong. It's Marinova. Mar? No, it's Marina. It's it's. It's Marina Nova. Fuck! I'm so bad at these names. <laughs> now that I look at it, it's Marina Nova. <laughs> there we go. Congrats on that. Okay, so we will give away uh, a couple more prizes a little bit later. Oh my God! Don't don't let me lose sight of the time. Shit! I'm gonna miss New Year's. We got 34 minutes. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to start a countdown here. Hold on. We gotta put a countdown on the on the thing. We're gonna do it. Uh, countdown. Yeah. One countdown. All right, let's show it. Let's just show it on the screen here. Let's go to OBS. Let's let's bring in. Let's see if I can do this. Image. Is it called timer? Clock. What what the hell is it? I I don't even know. I I can't. I you know it's amazing. I can even run a stream. I I barely know what I'm doing. All right, I'm gonna change the screen here just for a second, everybody. So don't freak out. I'm going to change this because I need to know what that... Oh, it's called clock. Okay. But is it a... Yeah. Oh, it's a it's a file. It's a... SNAS text file. It's a... Okay. All right. So there's our countdown. Let's go back. So we're going to go back here to add an image. And it's called clock. Well, but it's not that. Okay. <laughs> text. Oh, it might be a text. Clock. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, if I, if I, that, that should stay there. Yeah. If I change to our Discord things, that should still just stay there. Yeah, it does. Okay. So there's the countdown for uh, New Year's, everybody. So no matter what screen I switch to, that clock should stay there. Cool. So, and you guys, when we're counting down, those of you that are hosting with me, you know you want to look at, uh, you want to look at my screen, not the stream, because yeah, it is four seconds, maybe, yeah, maybe four seconds off. Or just subtract four if you're looking at the stream. Because when you're looking at me, it won't, it won't always be there. It'll only be there if I have OBS up or whatever. So, okay, did anybody else type stuff in the chat about their... Rob's goal for 2020, learn to read. Yeah, uh, reading is uh -huh. not the answer. I don't read per se. Fantasy Ground spends their day cleaning windshields on the highway. Oh, that's a Gatherbot thing. I thought somebody typed that in there. <laughs> wow. So memorable moments for that I can remember that happened is what was that virtual thing, Rob, that came out? Was that level something? Level two gaming or? Oh, you're talking about. Well, 
Tilt Five. five. Yeah. yeah, you talk about Jerry. Yeah. Yeah, Tilt Five was the virtual um, tabletop thing. Uh, we also had a really successful Founders Day, which just happens at the end of summer. Um, my mother passed away this year. I know that uh, we was moved. Terrible. We moved this summer from a place to here. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. There's a lot oh, of things went down. Uh, John, a big event that happened this year that I've been in Boffer and reminds us. Uh, Grim and the Wicked. Oh, yeah. GeoQuester. Yeah, Jerry's um, still going to come on the show in 2020. <laughs> she is, yeah. I hope so. Um, also, it's funny because the, our, our show on Sunday is 2019 year in review, but we're going to specifically talk about fantasy ground. So we, we, you know, we, we can, and it doesn't matter if we, if we double cover stuff today, that's fine too. Cause it, this is mainly just like to count down a new year and say happy new year to everybody and stuff. Uh, <laughs> Spencer, final question, final thoughts on the trip to Florida. Okay, first of all, fuck, fuck Florida, and and you know that I was gonna say that, and that's why you asked me because you want me to hear it. Because Florida is the worst <laughs> armpit of the world. And it's horrible and it's bad. So the reason Florida is so bad is it was pretty hot there. We were there in August and we had the AC on, and I'm like, oh, the AC set at like 75. That's ridiculous. We need to bring it down to like 70 or 68. And then I'm told, no, you can't do that. Because of the humidity, it'll fry the air conditioner. So air, air conditioning is basically worthless in Florida. So you basically <laughs> take a shower and go outside, and then you're still wet because you can't dry off ever. So it was horrible. But the Unity event and meeting the Smite Work staff and, all, and playing games with Zacchaeus and stuff like that was pretty fun. We had a good time. So final thoughts. I'm glad I went. Uh... I I did need I had to check off Florida, um, as a state that I've never been to, so I was able to do that. But I will never, and if I can help it, I'll never go back to Florida for the rest of my life. And if I need to go to Star Wars uh, Disney really bad, I'll just go to California, even though California sucks, but not as bad as Florida. Hey. California sucks. It's the worst state ever, except Florida. California is the best. That's my home state. Yeah, but so you you're you're biased. That's fine. But one in eight Americans born. live in California. It is far too crowded, and California is pretty awesome if it's you know San Francisco and above. But Southern California blows ass. It's so bad. My one in five in has... Texas. Oh, my city only has seven thousand. So Ooh. Wrong. Northern California is the best. Gorby Dahl says. They'll have to pick up portals. Get it now. Portals. Get it now. So, Rob, do you have, like, a map uh, of the U.S.? You kind of just, like, X out the states you've been to? No, I, I know which ones I've been to. I, I can remember. But, uh, hey, Thrakaris, thanks for following. Welcome to the stream. And I hope I said your name right, Thrakaris. Uh... You did. Oh, my God. I got one right, everybody. Um, I've been to most states and seven countries, but the some of the New England states I haven't been to. Um, and I've never been to Washington, D.C., which I will be going to in September. Thank you. It's a dartboard fury base <laughs> of Uh Where are you guys? Are you guys uh Europeans or or Australians or uh Fer's and and Thracarsis? Are you guys uh not US people? Australians. Okay, there we go. Boom. Nice. So yep. they're already they're already uh, having a good eye, a 2020. Yep. All right, you guys talk now. Oceana. Oceana, yes. So Vex put up some good things. He said that uh, he got his first uh, character creation class earlier this year, and he's happy and grateful for portals and one-click druid. What else came out this year that was pretty cool, like setting-wise, besides Rick and Morty? I mean, there was stuff earlier this year. 
We had a lot of fun with Acquisitions Incorporated. That was fun. Um, Ghosts of Saltmarsh came out. I I have not even, except for our show where we looked at it, I haven't even looked at it since then. Mm-hmm. Just because it's, you know, you got to pick your battles. But yeah, let's yeah. see. Rick and Morty, uh, Ghosts of Saltmarsh, Acquisitions Incorporated. Um, the new Eberron, Rise from the Last War, is out. Um, I'm sure I'm missing Avernus. something. Oh, right. Descent Descent to Avernus. Baldur's Gate, Descent to Avernus, which is fun. That's a Saturday night game. Any good three third-party content come out this year? Like from Cobalt Press or... Oh, yeah. Odyssey of the like Dragon that. Lord and... And uh, the two the two that we did for Smiteworks, Odyssey of the Dragon Lord and Legendary Dragons, those are really popular. They're selling. Uh, ba- uh, ooh, it's after the time. I can check. I think I had my best um, best month ever for Smiteworks, and it was because of those two titles. So Odyssey of the Dragon Lord, too. yeah, it's really cool. Uh, oh no, I didn't quite I didn't quite get up to the so second best month ever. So Pathfinder 2 came out this year. That was in August, right? Yep. That happened. Essentials Kit, uh, Svenster says. Oh, right. Thank you, Sven. Essentials Kit and the three uh, sequels to it, which is also I did. <laughs> the uh, Stormlord's Wrath, Divine Contention, and whatever the other one's name is, which I have right here. Did uh, oh, Swade come out earlier this year? Sleeping Dragon's Wake. Suede did come out as well. Sa- Savage Worlds Deluxe Edition. Yes, that did. Yes. Um, so we had a lot of good stuff this year come out. A lot of good stuff. And uh, and the the and the uh, the star sh- the what's it called? Um, Pathfinder in space. What's that called? Starfinder. Uh, Starfinder. <laughs> I know it's I know don't don't send me hate mail. I know it's not Pathfinder in space, but that's how I remember it. Just the same this the same way people say Baby Yoda even though it's not Baby Yoda. And by the way, don't say Baby Yoda. It's not Baby Yoda, it's the child. But anyway, I get it why <laughs> people are say that. Uh so yeah, the Starship Combat thing came out or is is coming out. It's it's out but it needs to be fixed, but they they've allowed people to be using it. Apparently that's a big to do. That's a big deal for people. Huh. Um, Monstrous Races came out today, or well, yesterday. Yeah, today. You can play yeah, any. Yeah, I talked to Matt Curry earlier. I put the link in the thing if you wanted to put that in the chat. Yeah, that is. Um, that is. You can play any monster in the monster manual as a playable race. It's insane. Here it is right I here. I got it already. Did okay. What I do though is I go here to my browser. And I go get my link, which is monstrous. I get the link that I give people, which is slightly different because if you follow the link that I pe- that I put in there, then should some if you go to that link and buy it, then I get an extra five percent for affiliate link. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> All my links have that link in there. Um, oh, Monkey Boy said Mongoose Traveler 2, second edition. Oh, out. shit. Mon- yeah, Traveler 2. Yeah, that was a big one. Supposedly and, uh, Vampire will be out soon. Vampire's been being worked on for like two years, but yeah. Um, yeah, Mad Beard Man worked on that Traveler forever and ever. I am watching... <laughs> Planning on playing an awakened shrub druid, Merriman says. Yeah. Um. Hee hop. What is L M A P? Why don't I know what that is? Hmm. It isn't Lost Minds at Fandelver. <laughs> Darth Vex said Avengers Endgame was came out this year. Yeah, Star Wars: mm-hmm. Rise of Skywalker. Um, what else we got here? 20 minutes. 
Wow, really? Yeah, yeah, let's give away another prize. Let's give away... What should we give away, the ultimate or my package? <laughs> let's uh, save my package till the end. That's what I said to my prom okay. date. Okay. Let's do the ultimate. So let me go up here and reset. This is going to be ultimate license. And whoever oh. wins should get a hold of me for this, and I will get you your prize. Yes, this is courtesy of Lady Shell, which shall be the keyword. She is paying for that, everybody, out of her pocket. Lady Shell. She decided to give us a ultimate license for the show. So type in Lady Shell. It's exclamation point Lady Shell 1L. 1L, everybody. 1L, 1L. And we will run a counter for two minutes. And again, if you win this license and you have a family member or a gaming buddy or a friend or a child or a grandparent or somebody that you'd like to give the license to and you already have a license, you can do that as well. Or if you have a standard license, you can take this ultimate and give your standard to somebody else. I think you can do that. I don't I, I don't 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 count. I think we can work that out. I think they have to do something yeah. at Smiteworks for that, but it's just they'll be happy to do it. Dave can help you. Yeah. Alex says, you're so awesome, Shelly. All you people are awesome. Yes. Thanks, uh, Alex. Thanks, Alex. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right. So one this, minute, everybody. This Inter one's got some people. Yeah, this one's got some people. We've got uh, 27 watching, but 45 in chat. So there's twice as many people in the chat that aren't actually watching, which is funny. Mm-hmm. Buried fate. Buried fate. Yeah, what about me? Nothing, we just Here. saw you pop up there. <laughs> All right. uh, yeah, because I had to get up from the chair, and as you know, when I get on my computer, I don't wear pants, so... Me neither. That's an inside joke. I'm wearing pajama bottoms today. So I'm mine, which means I need I to do laundry. Oh, yeah, I do laundry on Sunday, but I have plenty of clothes. <laughs> yeah, Vex, I get it. You're, some people do. They don't even watch the video. They just come for the chat. Uh, yeah. They listen, and they they don't watch. Raffle closed. What? It's over? Okay, let's find out who won. All right, the winner of the ultimate license is, courtesy of Lady Shell, Realvis. Boom. Realvis, I think you know how to get a hold of me. Yeah. So, Realvis. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> yeah, congrats. And, uh, uh, here's what we'll do. Um, we'll give away the package right after midnight. And in between then, I will give away a copy of the monstrous races for somebody that the brand new one and that is not included in the package because it's too new i'll give away the i'll give away one of those and i'll give away an enhanced spell window which diablo bob did which for those of you that don't know is super exciting uh you can drag sometimes when like so let's say you make a cleric or a paladin or a druid or somebody that knows all the spells you can, uh, you know, you have to drag the spells over one at a time. Now you can go search in the spell list, say like cleric first level spells, and just drag them all over, bam, like what, like that, like just once, like. Can that. you show us that little video you made? Yeah, I, I mean, show, it probably yeah, won't can, show very yep, well, but I'll show you the video. It's like two minutes. Let's let's do it. Yeah, um, we don't even need to to hear the audio. It just it it tell it kind of self explanatory. So this is the new thing that uh, Diablo Bob and Rob publish. It, it's pretty cool. It actually speeds up character creation. So if you have a cleric or a druid or a paladin, this would be the way to go. Yeah, it's a minute and a half, actually. So I'll Does show, it work uh, with a warlock? It works with every class. Yep. And 
I I'm pretty sure it's only fifth edition that it works with. It might be core RPG, but we'll have to ask Diablo Bob. And I actually don't think he's here. But so uh, you you'll see me open the character, and then it, and basically it's an extension. So you have to you have to buy the extension and then install it. And when you open the thing with the extension, you open up any of your spell sources. So you saw me. I had the player's handbook there. And now uh, I'm gonna go. I think I I think I choose cleric. I choose wizard first, but I, I say I don't want to do that, and then I go back to cleric. But, uh, yeah, I didn't even choose that. I just said So I choose cleric. So here, there's all the first-level cleric spells. And then up here is this button right here. You'll see I'll watch this. I'll click it, and I'll drag it over, and they'll all just appear there. This is insane. Watch this. Do it, Rob. Cool. Stop fucking around. Just do it. Bam. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah. Yeah. So you can do that with, and I could have used the whole cleric list. I could have used, you know, just first level or just cantrips or you know whatever you want to do. You can build your character, but it's sort of the same idea behind the package one, where or the uh, the equipment bundles where I have. So you can just drag them all over at once. So that's basically the whole thing right there. It looks like that. So I'm gonna give away a copy of that, uh, and we're gonna do that right now. So let's reset. Let's call this the enhanced spell window. That's a long word. Oh, well, I mean, I guess that's not going to be the no, no, that's going to keyword. Be, that's not going to be the keyword. The keyword is going <laughs> to be uh, we'll make it spell. So I'm starting that, everybody. So go ahead and enter exclamation point spell if you'd like to win that, and we will get a list of peoples and then we will give away a free copy of that and then right after that i will give away a copy of the monstrous races and it's monstrous not <laughs> fucking celestial i know i saw that too <laughs> sell out <laughs> monstrous i always i monstrous and wondrous always those words always make me crazy because i want it to be wondrous because of the word wonder and monstrous because of the word monster, but no, they're wondrous and monstrous. No E's in there. Don't enter Darth Vex, you already got it. <laughs> yeah, nice job. Thanks for buying that. Uh <laughs> Bob, forget about D D classics. <laughs> uh oh, it's edition wars now. Oh, B two keep on the borderland should be coming out soon. Fuck. How long does it take? When does uh, it yeah, uh, Quiet Bear. Um, that like you could actually drag all that into the actions tab, and it gives you all the actions for the spells. Yep, that's right. And and if you use the Rob Tui spell codings, it will give you all the codings as well. You just have to open that as your source instead of the player's handbook. So there you go. No excuse not to be fully automated within ten seconds of creating a character. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I can't spell. Why is my Twitch plan saying it can't talk to Twitch, but the stream is still playing and it registered my raffle entry? Stupid Bandwidth. technology. I think you answered your own question. Stupid technology. Keyword raffle is closing. As long as you're in the raffle, it doesn't matter what else Twitch says. Yeah. All right, here we go. The winner of the Enhanced Spell Window Extension, $4 value, is Spencer. What's up, Spencer? <laughs> Spencer, I think you know how to get a hold of me. Good job. Congratulations, Sven. All right, let's do the Monstrous Races. Let's give away that. Cool. Uh, let's do Monstrous Races. And... We'll make the keyword on that race. We'll make it. We'll keep it easy. I could have made it monstrous, but that would have caused problems. So, keyword race, everybody. Enter exclamation R A C E if you'd like the chance to win monstrous races. And then we'll go back to our lovely happy faces. Three out of four until we get some entries in there. And then we're looking at 10 minutes until go time. Is anybody going to light a sparkler or 
Oh, one of those poppers or do anything at inside the house? Inside. No, thank you. I'm like literally right next to the curtain. I don't <laughs> need to set this on fire. No, thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think I must be tired. Oh, man, I'm so worn out from Seattle. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I slept for 11 and a half hours last night, and I'm still tired. Sweet. It was. Did sweet. they win? I don't they, watch. They, they did not win. It was, a, no. it was an amazing game, and they literally, on the last play of the game, fell short of the goal line to win by one inch. Like, if you watch the video, you actually think it's in. It was insane. But we're going to play the Eagles this weekend in Philadelphia, so we'll see. Uh, all right, let's just see. Let's see. Who got it? Who is the winner? Oh, it's still is 30 it seconds. Over? Wow. No, it's not. I thought it was. Um, yeah, so, man. yeah, my, my best friend from childhood, we went to that game, and we Ubered there, so parking was no problem. And, and uh it's funny because Uber has flex pricing. So to to go to go there, when we went there, Uber it was like eighteen dollars from his house, like ten miles away. And then when we wanted to leave the game, it was seventy dollars. <laughs> so we waited. Ouch. Because you know it's supply and demand, right? So they've it's really there's sixty thousand people waiting to get a ride. So all right, here we go. The winner of the monstrous races is. Boom, Quiet Bear. What's up, Quiet Bear? I haven't talked to you yeah. for quite some time. I was in a game with Quiet Bear like three years ago. Been uh, quiet. Yeah, he's quiet. He's very quiet. So good. Congrats, <laughs> Quiet Bear. Uh, just PM me in Discord. You know how to do that. Um, if you're not on my Discord, I know you have been, but people get timed out after 30 days. By the way, if anybody ever is a member of my Discord and they find themselves not a member of my Discord anymore, that just means you got timed out after 30 days. So it doesn't. you didn't get kicked out or... I didn't ban you or anything. It just meant you you weren't there for 30 days. So PM me, Quiet Bear, in Discord, and I will send you that prize. As a matter of fact, when you're PMing me, uh, send me your DMs Guild email, and then I will send you that prize. Um, and Spencer, or he knows how to get a hold of me, so he'll get his prize. So good. So we gave away two licenses and two prizes, and then right after Midway... Uh, I'll give away my, and this is literally true, huge package. Give away my huge package. Oh, wow. A giant bundle. Okay. So I've been wanting to talk about this forever now. Who's seen The Witcher on Netflix? Anybody? So, anybody at all? No, I, I haven't myself. seen it. I'm watching Lost in Space season two. So is the Which Witcher, I just finished today. Yeah, I'm on episode like five. So is, is... Is The Witcher based on the video game The Witcher? No, apparently it's based on the books. But I mean, there's a lot of crossover, obviously, characters and settings and some of the political shit that happens. It, it's in both. The Witcher was a short Celestian. So, so Makes I bought, me sad. I bought The Witcher 3 video game series on Steam when it was on sale for like $7 or something, and I haven't played it. And then now, including yourself, Fury Fate, I've heard like the last week I've heard Witcher, 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 you got to watch it. So is it a fantasy thing, or what's the deal? Yeah, it's fantasy-based, and it's great. And I thought Henry Cavill did a really great job of um, doing the voice of Gerald. I'm like, that's him. That's the voice. It's my favorite Henry Cavill role lately has been, if you watch the CW superhero shows, they did a crossover episode, and he plays a, a different superhero that's not Superman. But then when they did a crossover of of all critical or of all worlds, he played Superman. So he was the Superman from the 2006 movie. It was hilarious. But yeah, I maybe I've checked that Witcher out. Wait. Was he? Are you sure you're not thinking of somebody else? No, no, that's him. He's the guy. The, the guy that's on The Witcher was Superman in 2006 in Superman Returns. That was him. Yeah, and it then, was. Yeah, and he plays Superman on this show when he's not normally. He, I don't know. It's it's funny. But uh, okay, let's see. Let's do it. Let's find out. 
Oh no, I thought we were still running a <laughs> never mind. I thought we were still running a contest. We're not. We're gonna wait. We don't have a contest going on right now. Okay, so. we got five minutes. I'm just killing time. So yeah. can we set up the timer for five minutes or five minutes and ten seconds? Well it is. The timer's on the stream, so and the so timer's... I mean the game timer or the Hey, okay, see, timer. I knew it. You're getting confused with Brandon Roth. Thank you. Oh, you're right. Oh geez, sorry. Old people don't know their shit. Wait. I did get confused. He looks like Henry him. Cavill is the the now Superman. Oh, he's that's why I was like reading two thousand six. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. No, no, he's the now Superman. Right. I did. I did get confused. I know the difference, but I get confused by their names, not by when I look at them. I know which one's which. Yeah, the the now Superman. I'm calling him. <laughs> <laughs> the whole stream's like, oh my god, you're Everyone's just like, ruining everything. Everyone's like, what the fuck they're talking about. So, four minutes and 15 seconds. Y'all just confused me. Yeah, and now I'm, now I'm confused. But yeah, so Witcher, now Superman. I wanted the oh, guy. Shit, oh, shit, Bofrin. Oh, Bofrin. Okay, slash ban Bofrin. Hold on. B A N B A U. For five for for like ten minutes, so he can't get into the drawing. Uh, <laughs> Superman five. Yeah, when. Yeah, yeah. Spoiler, Darth <gasps> Vex. If anybody hasn't seen it. <laughs> well, if they haven't seen it, then shame on them. But I love that part where they showed Clark from Smallville. Yeah, Clark. That, and that was like big. Yeah, big highlight. Well, like, oh, yeah. I watched every single episode of Smallville all ten years, and and weekly, not binging, fucking every day, every <laughs> week for ten fucking years. <laughs> but I really liked it, and I and it's funny because I don't watch Arrow, I don't watch Legends, I don't watch Supergirl. I watched the first year of Supergirl when it was on CBS, but when it went to CW, didn't watch it. And I do watch Flash, and I do watch Batwoman. So I only watched two of the five crossover shows, but I did watch all three crossover episodes, which of course episodes four and five air on like January fourteenth. So uh, you can come here to Rob Tui for your superhero television needs, everybody. I know what's up. I just don't know the difference between fucking Superman and Superman. They're all the same, you know, the dark now, hair, Superman. blue eyes, chiseled chin type of thing. One of my favorite movies of all time is the 1978 Superman. Are we going to Addis Ababa, Mr. Luthor? All right, let's look at the time. Two minutes. Two minutes and two seconds and two minutes and 20 seconds and two minutes and 10 seconds and 12 and 10 and 11 and 10. What? That's not what the stream says. Flash isn't bad, but his fucking wife needs to die. <laughs> yeah, oh shit! There's some people on the there's some people on the show that are kind of annoying. I find Grant Gustin's intro to be kind of annoying. He's you know at the beginning of the show when he's like, "I am the fastest man alive, Barry Allen. I am the Flash." I'm like, okay, we get it. And and well, do you know why? It's be, oh, well, you don't know why. It's because they do the same shit on Arrow, so he has to kind of copy that to say that oh, yeah. they're joined together. And Flash is my favorite superhero, and it has been since I was a little boy. And then that's why I have to watch it. And yeah, Superman too. Yeah, Terrence Stamp. <laughs> you will bow down before me, Jor El. <laughs> And he says, both you, both you and then one day your heirs. But I swear to God, from ages 12 to like 40, I thought he was saying both you and then one day your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and if you if you watch that clip, you can make yourself believe. Uh, oh, well. Supergirl. One minute. Supergirl is hard to watch. Yeah, the 1984. And I was so in love with that. What's her name? She was on an episode of Seinfeld. Um, oh, she was in Secret of My Success. I can't remember. So I'm going to go see about a girl. I will be back. It's like fucking 30 what? seconds, dude. Get back here. You can't leave us. My wife needs her annual kiss, so 
Sorry. Oh, that's lame. Oh, my uh, God. That is fucking lame. All right. He's going to have to sit out a show because that's lame. <laughs> God. All right. We'll I'll right count back. it. I'll count it down. Now, there's no, I didn't, I don't have on screen fireworks. There's not going to be any big display, everybody. We're just going to count it down and everybody's going to wish everybody else Happy New Year. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. 2020 double crit year. And Leroon isn't here because he had to kiss Sonya. Ugh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. You're not kissing your Couples. husband. I did two hours ago when it was oh, that's right. my time. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. D- well, sure. to, to, hit, to be fair, it is his New Year as well. He's in Seattle. But I, I didn't go outside and listen to my annual mill whistle pull from the paper factory. I thought I might have just heard it. Um. <laughs> Trump, there, I hear so many fireworks outside. One one twenty. Trump's still in. Boo. Happy it's two a.m. I shouldn't be hearing fireworks. I'm like expecting to hear fireworks right now. Okay. Wow, dude, that was you couldn't. Oh man, I'm so disappointed in you. Oh, <laughs> in that time, they were gone. I can't believe uh, that you did that. Uh, so, um, big giveaway that everybody's been waiting for. Oh, the big giveaway. Let's do it. The only reason they're here is for yeah, that. They don't give a shit about Happy New Year. They're like, mm-hmm. give me my fucking prize. All right. We're going to clear this out. We're going to say... um, The Big Poppy is what we're going to say the package is called. Big Poppy. And we're going to have the keyword be Big Poppy. Ha, ha, ha. I'm already saying people so, are that. Exclamation point, Big Poppy, everybody. And this is for the Big Poppy. This is for the 168 title Fantasy Grounds Rob Tui Insanity Bundle. Currently not available. You can't even buy it. You can only win it. Big Poppy. I'm making everybody type in Big Poppy. Ooh. He have already have his whatever package, blah, blah. Tyestia, thanks for the thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I I hope I said Tyestia right, but anyways, welcome. Big Poppy, everybody. B I B I G P O P P. It is not spell. I already blew my wad on Rob's huge package. <laughs> Limited huge package. Oh, uh, you guys are hilarious. <laughs> I love it when you you love it when they call you Big Poppy. Yes, I do. I think uh, Boffrin's going to win. You think Boffrin's going to win? Yeah. Why do you think that? Oh, he didn't enter. So yeah, he did. He's, he's, he's on the list oh, right he's here. In there? Yep, he's oh, right crap. there. Oh, crap. Is Shadzar there? Maybe he'll win. <laughs> Shadzar's not here. Shadzar hasn't been around the, for, I don't know, a couple of weeks at yeah, least. a couple of weeks. Who will win? A lot of names there. Oh, 20 people so far. 21 yeah. entries and 30 seconds to go. This is for the Big Poppy. Sergeant Jeebus, I hope you got that. I hope you actually got it right. There you go. Final sales figures for 2000. I'm sorry, for 2019 or in. It's not 2019. It's 2019. You don't say 2000. This year is not 2020. It's 2020. That's how you're supposed to say the years. Two numbers, two numbers. All right. Here we go. The winner is going to be revealed right after this. No, I'm just kidding. They don't hate when they do that. I fucking hate that when they do that. Uh... I'm so glad to have, I'm so glad to have just done it to everybody else. Some of you are freaking hilarious. Hilarious. Okay, here we go. The winner of the Insanity Bundle is Pooty Poo Poo. <laughs> I almost kind of like right. Big Poppy. Pooty Poo Poo, congratulations. Sweet. 
Uh, Pooty Poo Poo, you should DM me in Discord. Here's the link if you don't have it. Send me a message and send me your DMs Guild email, and I will send you that package tonight. I will send it to you at, right after the show. Wow, that package is big enough to keep busy for all of 2020. Yes, it is. You are right. So congrats. Congrats to all our winners. How many winners tonight? Five? Yeah? Five winners. That was about 1,700-ish worth of prizes. Yeah. Pretty good stuff. Are right. you sure you can handle that package? <laughs> Are you sure you can handle Rob's huge package? <laughs> <laughs> huge, it's huge. So, uh, it is 2020, and the only people, the only people who haven't experienced 2020 yet are people in Alaska and Hawaii, and like Baker Island. Everybody else is already in. <laughs> sure. Uh, what are what's our new shows coming up, Rob? Oh, yeah, let's take a look at that. So, Sunday show is a year in review, so it'll be a little bit more specific, uh, what we talk about. And let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. All things. All things. No! <laughs> okay, I don't know how to use a computer. <laughs> All things just, considered. What it is is I start typing something in the middle of what I'm doing. I just don't even remember what I'm doing. So this was a special show. This was a special – this is not even an episode. This is between episode 98 and 99. This is SP1 special, which, by the way, I get to make it green now. You know, my favorite part. So exciting. And next week – or sorry, this Sunday, the 5th, right after the Seahawks beat the uh, Eagles. That will be right after that. Uh, 2019 year in review. Following week, it, right after the Seahawks beat some other team, probably the Saints, Doug Davison will be our guest, and then no shows for three weeks. So that's how we do it. Doug Davison will be Reasons. here on the 12th. And then uh, coming back at the beginning of February, we're going to do two years of Fantasy Grounds Friday's tips because I was hired February 1st. 2018 and then vex will be on the show on march 1st and february 23rd my birthday uh we will possibly have uh jen page she'll be on the show sometime i just she said hit me up after the holidays so i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait uh, until tomorrow and then ask her <laughs> no because tomorrow's after the holidays uh but anyway that's what's coming up on all things Fantasy Grounds talk show. And that's how you do it. So, Fury, it's 1 o'clock there? 2 o'clock. Um. So you're going to go to bed right after this? Uh, no, because I took a nap before the show. Oh, very good. Yeah, by the I way, this was her. Fury's idea. I had not planned on doing this. And Fury said we should do a New Year's countdown. And so Yay. we did. Yay. And then Leroon ran away right at the critical moment. Unbelievable. I'm never going to give you, I'm gonna to. Give you shit about that. for. I'm going to give you shit about that until New Year's Eve. 2021? One year. No, New Year's Eve 2020, which is in 365 days. Three, sorry, 366 days. <laughs> it's 365 days from now because there's leap year this year. Oh. Yep, show. every leap year there's an election. Every leap year there's an election and a summer Olympics. And I'm so old that it used to be you would say a leap year was an election and the Olympics because the Olympics were all in the same year, and then they split it up. Then they went to Ratings. two years, every four years, or in summer and winter, and then but then they're two years apart, and that's how they do it now. Did you go to Lake Placid, Rob? Did I go there? Yeah, no. during the Olympics. No, I did not go there. Why? <laughs> just wondering. Uh, I just remember the Summer Olympics, not Winter Olympics, because I no, don't care about Olympics. Summer Olympics. 
Oh yeah, the Winter Olympics are. It's in the eighties. I know that. Oh, Lake Placid was nineteen eighty. I didn't go there, but I did watch. I watched the Miracle on Ice. I watched that game. The mm -hmm. Russians and the and the U.S. and Al yep. Michaels. Do you believe in miracles? And then they made a movie out of Kurt Russell. I, I watched that game live. I was fourteen years old. It was crazy. It's fun to watch again if they watched. If you ever watched the video, if you want to see some history. Oh, Thrakus Thrakaris went to the Sydney Olympics in two thousand. Saw Michael, Michael swim. Saw Michael Phelps swim. I I went not Olympics, but I went to the World's Fair when it was up in, like Vancouver or something. I think it was in the eighties or something. Expo. Yeah, Expo yeah. was in Spokane in seventy four. I remember that was eight years old. I have my I have my picture. I have my little ID. You know, I had an ID card that looked kind of like a driver's license. And I found that recently, and I was very disgusted. I almost vomited to see that the shirt <laughs> that I was wearing when I was eight year old said San Francisco 49ers. Very what? upsetting. Very fucking upsetting. <laughs> but keep in mind, this was 1974. There wasn't even a Seattle Seahawks at that time. Didn't exist. Right. They didn't come into the league till 76. Well, I was a Rams fan back then. I was a Minnesota Vikings fan as a child. Um. I believe the reason I had a – I believe – I'm not kidding. I'm not making this up. I believe – no, no, that can't be right. Uh, I, never mind what I was going to say. The, the years don't match up. But I, I don't even know – I don't know why I had – I think you know some parent bought the shirt for me or it was given to me. But I was a Minnesota Vikings <laughs> fan because that was the home team when I was a kid. And then – in high school, I was a Dolphins fan. I wasn't really a Dolphins fan. I was a Dan Marino fan. I was a I was a specific fan of his. Flipper and, fan. And then uh, and then a, but of course I've always been a Seahawks fan ever since I was ten years old when they when they started. This was their forty third year, I believe. <laughs> Uh, I have no clue what you guys are even talking about. <laughs> I don't know. Sports. I think we're ready to shut it down pretty soon. What do you think? Yeah, Darth Vex, you're right. When you're 14 or younger, you don't really have control over your clothing. That's true. Uh, and I was eight. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, any, uh, other than Happy New Year, does anybody have any final words? Questions. Uh, I was going to say, if you haven't watched Witcher, watch Witcher so I can talk about it with everybody. Okay, I'll try. I'll put that on my list right after the next five episodes of Lost in Space. I'm going to watch the back of my eyelids. I was just uh, cleaning the back of my eyelids right now. I don't know. Cleaning, <laughs> cleaning isn't really the right word. I mean, I was rubbing them, but there's nothing on them for me to clean off. I just said that. I don't know why. Um, I like that my hair looks white. It's really kind of not white, but it is, but it's not. And then it's dark on the sides, and then I, I don't know what's happening. I don't know. I don't get it. And then I, when I take a shower... Marina I, Nova has a good question. I come out of the shower, and my, he, my hair's like black, and then it dries, and it's not black. I don't get it. Uh, how do you kill so, the uh, holder, how, oh, if I may there. ask? Massaging your... Yeah, Darth... Uh... <laughs> How do you kill a beholder? Uh, pepper spray? I don't know how you kill it, but I know what they say if you poke them in the eye. They do a Sammy Davis Jr. impression, and they say, hey, man, that's my eye. Now, <laughs> only 20% of people are going to get that joke because everybody else is too young. Sammy Davis who? I'm old enough to get it. You get it. Do you know who Sammy Davis Jr. is, Furied? It's okay. Um, you can admit it if you do. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> I've was, heard of the name. I don't remember why he's like famous. Was he an actor? Was he a singer? Or was he a musician? Musician? He was a singer. Whatever. Musician. That's the same and thing. Technically, he was an actor as well, but... He's, he had the song, The Candyman... Yeah, and if you want to see if you want to see him in his prime uh, comedic um, 
talent, go watch the movie Cannonball Run, which, by the way, is a favorite of mine. I love Cannonball mm-hmm. Run. All right, let's shut it down, everybody. Alrighty. Happy New Year! Congrats to all I the prize winners. to answer the question. Oh, what, oh, oh, the how to kill a beholder. Oh wait, Marina knows it's a big house. Well, I thought you would have to name your sword Beauty, and then you then say to the beholder when you stab it, Beauty, Beauty is, is in the eye. That makes sense. That's funny. That makes sense. Anti magic shell. Celestian's in there with the legit. Throw answer. a sheet over it. <laughs> <laughs> or if you're in, if you're playing fourth edition, you do what I did and be a ranger and kill it from six hundred feet away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's right. Okay. All right. Uh, on that bad joke, let's uh. <laughs> let's, down. let's just end it. Yep. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Congrats to the prize winner. Uh, join us on Sunday again. Wow, something is in my mouth, and I don't know what it is. Uh, join us again on Sunday, mm-hmm. guys, and uh, Happy New Year to all of planet Earth, and until next time, good gaming, everyone. Good gaming. Did you cut me off? <laughs> <laughs>